a hilarity. This is it, sports fans. Participants, even. Television's greatest array of stars, Laugh Olympics, presents the round the world triple team competition between the Yogi Yahoois, the Scooby Doobies, and the really rotten. The players are on the field, in the stadium, even. So let's get on with it. Laugh Olympics. Welcome once again to the Laugh Olympics. Today, we'll take you to glorious Acapulco for our first series of events. Then, around the world to jolly old England for some excitingly different contests, where our three teams, the Scooby Doobies, the Yogi Yahooies, and the Really Rottens, will race to the top of Big Ben to conclude today's matches. So now, let's switch to Snagglepuss, our on-the-scene reporter, high atop the Acapulco Cliffs, for the start of our first event. Senor Snagglepuss here, to start our first event. Cliff diving. From these high rocks, our three terrified, I mean brave competitors, will jump 400 feet to a shallow pool of water. Our panel of judges will score them on their style. Down in the gorge is Mildew Wolf. Come in, Mildew. Come in, nothing. The object is to land in the water, which comes in and out. If a diver jumps in too soon, he'll land right here. <laughs> Flatter than a tortilla. The idea is to time the waves as they come in. Oh, forget it. <coughs> Take it away, Snag. I got it. Suffering sombreros. It's none other than the team captain, ready for his first dive. The incomparable Yogi Bear. Ladies and gentlemen, an odd hush, silence even, comes over the crowd as Yogi goes through the pre-dive ritual of a true champion. It. Stage up. Yogi is doing a triple somersault. Degree of difficulty, 12.7. Heavens to Murgatroyd. He's doing a double triple. A triple triple, yes. A quintuple triple spin. Degree of difficulty, 47,892.6 even. This has never been done before. Yeah. Unfortunately, Yogi missed the gorge. He gets no points for his team, and it looks like he owes somebody for a boat. Gee, this dance that Gavin was spirit. It's a bad break for the Yogis, and a unanimous zero from the judges. Oh, and now, jumping for the Rotten team are the Dalton brothers, who will attempt a triple team tandem. Hmm. <laughs> Boys, let's jump. You first, Dink. Mm. Lots of luck, Rottens. Now, Dink, now! You've got to hand it to the Dolphins. They brought their own water with them. Or did they? Dinky Dalton splashed all the water out of there. Sometimes I wonder, Dink, if you're with us or against us. Here's Dynamut getting ready to jump for the Scooby Doobies. Get out there, Dog Wonder. Yeah! Yeah! Dynamut thanks you. Dog Wonder thanks you. Me, myself, and I thank you. The Dog Wonder Association thanks you. I will you knock off the thank yous. Go, Dog Wonder. Go. What forum, what grace, what elegance even. I'll say, he barely got his feet wet. Wait, wait, apparently there's been a protest. Indubitably, a protest indeed. Illegal extension of the legs. Let's take another look at that once again even from our hidden surreptitious camera. A definite extension, all right. So let's get back to the judges. How about that? A 
It's a Dog Wonder style jump and perfectly legal. The Super Scoobies get 25 for their first place performance. The Really Rottens take second place and get 15 points. And the Yogi Yahoo is finished third and receive 10 points. Oh, I can't yeah, believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll switch to another location. We bring you the underwater relay race, already in progress. It's the last lap. As they approach the finish line, Mumbly of the Rottens and the Scooby's Blue Falcon are neck and neck. While the Yogi Yahoo's Doggy Daddy is dog paddling far back. It's going to be close. It's Mumbly and Blue Falcon. It's the Blue Falcon and Mumbly. Wait a minute, hold it. A school of fish are approaching the course. This could prove tricky. Huh? The traffic controller is stopping the school right in front of Blue Falcon's lane. <laughs> the Rottens win. I know justice will triumph over evil in the end. I protest, I protest, I must protest. Portful octopus used illegal use of a hand. The process has been made. We'll see it on the isolated camera. And here's your official race replay. And it's a subterfuge. It's a double foul. Illegal use of hands. And torn with a piano wire. They must take rotten lessons. Let's get a ruling from our guest referee. Hmm, foul play. Rotten's in third. So it's Scooby's 25, Yogi's 15, Rotten's 10. And there you have it. The Scoobies are in first place with 50 points. Now down to the marina, where a snag is standing by for the start of the speedboat race. Yay! Snagglepuss here. As the boats are in the gate, the starting bell is imminent even. Wally Gator, what do you think about your chances of winning the race? Nothing to it, you see. We alligators are right at home in the water, you know. <laughs> How about you, Jinxie? Well, uh, I like uh, can't lose, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm using Miss Power, you know. Give me that microphone. It ain't gonna be no contest. Us rottens are gonna... The boats are in the starting lineup. They will race this torturous course to the finish line. And... They're off! Come on, come on, you guys! Oh, Pixie. Ugh, I am! I hate Mises to pieces! The Rottens and the Scoobies are off to a quick lead, while the Yogi Boat is still trying to get started. And there she goes! The Yogi Boat seems to be going nowhere. The Scoobies are ahead, but the Rottens are leaning on their horn, trying to catch them. Move that hay burner out of the way! With Wally Gator at the rudder, the Yogis are zigging and zagging to catch up. Uh, I don't mind the zigging. Yeah, it's the zagging I can't stand. The Rottens are trying to pass, but the Scoobies are clinging desperately to the lead. That's what you think. Abracadabra. <laughs> Goodness to gracious. It's an outboard. It's an inboard. Whatever it is, it's not above board. Hold everything. The yogis have come to a stop. All right, you guys. <laughs> Let's get the meat power going. I'd like to give him some meat power. Yeah, that pow. Pedal, Mises. Pedal. And here come the students. They're making their first move for first place. Uh -huh. Wrong again. Where there's fun do, there's smoke for Scooby Doo. How about that? A smoke screen. Hold on. <coughs> I protest. <coughs> I. <coughs> what was that you were saying, Huckleberry? Come on. 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 Come
cruise ship. As they pass the outer buoys heading for home, it appears the Rottens have an insurmountable lead. But whatever happened to the Yogi boat? It, uh, it can't be. Don't look now, but, uh, we are coming to a tunnel. Yay! Oh, what a way to go. Yeah, dinner for a whale. Who's got the salt and pepper? Relax, fellow. <laughs> I got the pepper, and the whale's gonna get it. <laughs> the two other teams race on. The Rottens have the lead, but the Scoobies are coming on strong. Let's just hope, you know, that the pepper does it. At the finish, it's the rot. It's the Yogi's first, the Rotten second, and the Scooby's third. It's still any man's game. The Scoobies are in first with 60. An unbelievable finish by the Yogis. And as we say aloha to sunny Acapulco, stay tuned for more Laugh Olympics coming up later from jolly old England. Welcome, sports fans, to the Laugh Olympics from historic old England. As we left Acapulco, the Scoobies were first with 60, the Yogis were second with 50, and the really Rottens were third with 40. Now to Snagglepuss at the start of the first event, a real first, a race to the top of Big Ben's Tower. Good evening. Snagglepuss here at the base of Big Ben. While our three teams are ready in for the race to the top, let's have us a word with one of the distinguished team captains, the newly knighted Sir Yogi Bear. How are you, Sir Yogi? Much royaler than the average bear. Yeah. And here is Quick Draw McGraw of the Yogis, even. Quick Draw. This is quite an elaborate device, but will it get you to the top of Big Ben? If I don't get to the top first, I can always go into plumbing, or my name ain't Quick Draw McGraw. Meldo Wolf here with the Rotten's competitor, Tinky Dalton. Come on, big fella. You don't think I believe you're gonna climb this pole all the way to the top? If there's a rotten way to do it, they'll find it, believe me. The teams are ready as we await the starting bell. Speaking for all superheroes, we're ready. Speaking for super chickens, <laughs> I quit. They're off with the Blue Falcon making the first move. Meanwhile, the Yogi team is starting. I really don't know how this thing works, but here goes Quick Draw Birdman McGraw! Let her up, boo -boo. There's no way this thing's gonna work! Quick Draw and Shaggy are both on the face of the clock. Let's see how the Rotten's Dinky Dolphin is doing. <laughs> This ain't as easy as it looks. Rock. Shaggy and Quick Draw are climbing neck and neck, and the crowd is going wild. Let's switch live to Snagglepuss for an on-the-scene interview. Shaggy, can you reveal the secret of your fast ascent? Would you like to know the secret of my fast descent? Indeed I would. I would indeed. Your helicopter blade is cutting my rope! <laughs> A thousand pardons! Two thousands, if you will! Exit! Stage up! Dinky Dalton is still slipping behind. Somehow I feel like I ain't making much progress. <sighs> Meanwhile, Shaggy and Quickdraw are approaching the top. It's going to be close. Dinky Dalton seems to be out of it. Uh, huh. 
Now nah, that's enough. I'm substituting my little brothers. Big deal. <laughs> Who needs it? <laughs> Look at this. It's the Rottens coming from no place and zooming into first place. What a display of teamwork. <laughs> The Rottens take the event, with the Yogis coming in second, and the Scoopies finishing third. As we go into our final events, the Scoobies lead with 70. But now to the English countryside for the fox hunt. Snagapus here for the fox hunt. Ta -ta 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 -ta. The team that runs the fox up the tree first is the winner. The contestants are raring to go as Mildew prepares to release the fox. Pokey Wolf is team captain for the Yogis, Captain Caveman for the Scoobies, and Daisy Mayhem for the Rottens. And they're off! As the hunt continued, the fox seemed to have everybody outfoxed. What's this? The fox is now chasing the hunters up a tree. Heavens to treetops! Don't look at me! I'm only the communicator. We've been outfoxed. Get, get home! Get, you hear? Give me that magic rabbit! Bandu never gives up. Ozum, Tozam, Ox, Scram! With this unexpected development, the fox hunt was eventually declared a draw. Each team was awarded 15 points, except for the fox, who was given 25 points. But now, let's jump to the polo field, where the polo match is about to get underway. On skateboard, that is. Here comes the Honorable Sir Yogi Bear. He seems to have some trouble controlling his trusty skateboard. And away we go! Well, he stops for no one, you know! And here are the Scoobies out on the field. Captain Caveman! And finally, here come the Rottens. Oh! And the teams are lined up for the start of the play. And play begins. Magic Rabbit is moving up on the ball. He's driving all alone. He scores. And the Magic Rabbit puts the Rottens on the board in the polo match. Tinker's driving down the field. He shoots. He stuck. No goal. He shoots again. No goal again. What's going on? No dog wonder. Fetch is another game. No. Well, gosh. <laughs> How's the wonder dog to know that? Now, here's the Yogi team captain. A magnificent display of talent as Sir Yogi scores. A beautiful move. Let's take a look at that again on Instant Replay. Uh -huh. That's what I call stick to itness. <laughs> That's not fair, Yogi. I'll say not. Bags of sticky wicket. I ever saw one. The Yogis and the Rottens each have one goal, but the Scoobies have yet to score. Galloping gorillas! It looks like Quick Draw is having a little trouble maneuvering. Come on, partner! Give the eye up! Rebate, rebate. Rebate, rebate. Hold on a minute, Thar! I'm getting a mic dizzy! Rebate. What a shot by the Grape Ape! But it looks like it's going to be long gone! It's a home run! It's still Yogi's one, Scooby's nothing, and Rotten's one. 
but not for long. <laughs> Set up the new ball, Mumbly. <laughs> And it's the Scoobies out on the fast break. And it's a beautiful shot by Tinker. It looks like a goal for the Scoobies. No, wait! It looks like a goal for the Yogis. Yes, a goal for the Ruttons. And the Ruttons win. Wait a minute. I see a rotten. Correction. I see two rottens. Impersonating. An officer of the law. A referee, even. And a word from the losers. It's a penalty, even. A foul has been called on the rottens. They will receive no points. And, oh, yes, Yogi used a sticky mallet. No points, say the judges. So scores revert to the last match. The Scooby Doobies win. The final, the irrefutable, the irreconcilable score. Scooby's first, Yogi's second, and Rotten's third. I'm standing here in the winner's circle. Scooby's, you took first place in the gold medal. I guess you're happy with the whole pie. Pie? What pie? Pizza pie? And a word from the losers. Give me that. Losing. We're gonna be back next week with every low down underhanded trick we can think of. So cheerio from London, England. Join us next week as we span the globe again to capture the triumph of the victor, the torment of the vanquished, the eternal struggle to be champion, to be number one, to win the coveted Laugh Olympics gold. I'd try her.